The phenomenal one is here. AJ Styles is no stranger to stealing the show, no matter the circumstance. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia. Weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ Styles is in a class by himself, continually adding to his accolades with every single match. A Grand Slam champion in WWE night after night lives up to the moniker of Phenomenal. You know, being known as Phenomenal, that's just the beginning. Well, anytime AJ Styles is in the ring, you have to almost assume that it's going to turn into an instant classic. Yeah, another one's imminent tonight. The shot caller is in the house. And his opponent representing the bloodline from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 251 pounds, Jimmy Uso. We've seen many sides of Jimmy Uso throughout the years, but he has never been more dangerous. Jimmy Uso now with a killer instinct we've never seen before. But you have to wonder if Jimmy is perhaps facing more adversity than ever. He's had documented issues with his brother, with his family. He might be a man without a bloodline at this point. destroy anyone who would be a thorn in the side of his family's supremacy. You do kind of have to admire Jimmy's unwavering dedication, his willingness to do whatever it takes to annihilate the opposition. But you can't overlook the man he's facing, A.J. Styles. An unmatchable combination of tenacity and high-speed offense allows A.J. to turn the tables on any opponent, even when they have the size advantage. It's all about heart with AJ, his fighting spirit. AJ knows deep down that there's no obstacle he can't overcome if he works hard enough. Just one step ahead. Oh, man. Gets him with the counter. Corey, I'm wondering, is there any possible weakness of Jimmy Uso's that you could see being exploited here in this one? From the top. Makes the cover. See if this is the start of a rally. Down to Odin and a double axe handle smash. Stiff and one. And that just about knocked AJ back to WCW. Destructive offense from Jimmy. Oh, it's not going to be good. This is not going to be good. Driven down with a brain buster. And a maneuver like that will leave you on unsteady legs, to say the least. And Zagiri finds its mark. And Jimmy able to reverse that. Ooh. Ooh, treading off. And he goes for the pin. He forces a break before the count of two. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. Wow, what an arm drag. Here it comes. Stay away from the worm. The tequila sunrise. Oh. Well, that was a great counter to the single leg crab. 
Oh, what a counter. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. He was elusive there. It's just a phenomenal blitz there. Guys, truly, I need to know, when will enough be enough? When is this going to end? It's locked in. And the ropes break this one up. Great ring awareness there. He catches Jimmy with a counter. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. The kick, and again to the back of the head. Good officiating there. Referee seeing him the ropes and breaking the count. Jimmy laying down the gauntlet for his opponent. Vaulting plancha, incredible. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. Ooh, impactful Whoa. knee drop. What elevation. Oh, colliding with a barricade. Ooh. Whipped into the barricade. Goes right through it. Turns to the ring. I think we know what's coming next. Styles take it off. Oh, the high risk doesn't pay off. Brash decision making there proved to be extremely Whoa. detrimental. Can you recover from such an error? You have to wonder. Oh, yeah. Jimmy Uso command. No. He gets what he deserves for all that gloating. Risking it all and able to connect like a homing missile. From the apron. Whoa, what a landing. Getting up, but doesn't have a clue what's coming at him. Look out. All the way to the outside. That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own well-being. Gets inside the ring. Oh! Setting them up. This is going to be nasty. Burning hammer. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Insulting. Styles is taking charge. So he played it smart and picked his spots. And now he's controlling Jimmy Uso here. Series of reversals. Of arm drag. All the way down. AJ Styles. Jimmy tied that one. Close line. Quick back elbow detours that offense. in the midsection. To the face. Had that one telegraphed. Stop. Uh oh. To the face. What a redirect. Oh, what a super kick. A double super kick. On the ropes. Referee breaks the count. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. These men have given everything they have and more at this point. This is a critical moment now to see who can find a way to keep going. Uso. And nobody's there. An agile escape. Ooh. Oh, look at this. Headbutt. He could pin his opponent right here. It's over. Yeah, no. He doesn't get the three. Getting that shoulder up now is huge. He's got him scouted. Getting him into the corner. Boom! What a right. Oh, did you hear that? Stopped 
to the knee. Kick to the body. Deep, deep trouble here. Look out. Uh -oh. Slingshot guillotine leg drop. What Styles thinking here? From the top. Diving elbow drop. Are you kidding me? Listen to this place. From the middle rope. Oh, what a splash. Fortune favors the bold. These risks could be a winning strategy. Styles. Springboard four. From Styles. We are seeing a ridiculous amount of risky moves. We'll see if it pays off. Oh, I love it. Does Jimmy have any fun? Makes left? the cover. And the kick out. Wow, looks like this book has a couple more chapters in it. We might be seeing a whole saga written tonight. And just what else can AJ do right now? He got all of it. And it Styles positioning his opponent. Did AJ get all of it? And his eyes are piercing through the opposition now. AJ finds the mark. Will it pay off for Styles? Cover. Wait a second, where'd he come from? Oh. This superstar is laying waste to everybody. What is it you always say, Graves? Gotta have eyes in the back of your head. At all times. What a scene. Sneak attack, and this thing is spiraling completely out of control. How are we even supposed to have a match now? Can they even go? How can this match even take place? I mean, from the looks of things right now, this superstar is in no condition to compete. The tensions between these competitors almost completely disrupted this match. But now these superstars look ready for even more action. These superstars were certainly in a hurry to get this started. That was a brilliant strategy, guys. Throw your opponents off by taking the fight to them. Oh. Oh. Thrown back in under the ropes. Takes their breath out. Effective counter. She has her target weighed and measured. Incoming! Oh, right to the face. Oh. The Empress striking at will. Boom! Such educated feet. Mahala perhaps realizing this won't be the easy hunt she expected. And Asuka giving her opponent an upsetting taste of that cutting buzzsaw-like offense right there. Corey Asuka is such a dominant competitor, it's hard to find flaws, but what do you think is her biggest weakness? Well, if you ask Asuka, she doesn't have any weakness. And she'll yell at you, too. And that's just it. Asuka is confident and angry. The key to taking Asuka down is to use her cockiness to your advantage. Just wait for any opening, because she and her ego will eventually create one. Extremely painful hold there. Looking for a suplex, gets blocked. Into a suplex of their own. Golly, that sounded rough. Saw that one coming, took advantage. This match is wearing her down. Yeah, Asuka putting real ferocity behind every move she makes. The ultimate sign of disrespect. Asuka got out of the way. Such educated feet. What a hit from Asuka. Oh, that might have just broken something. Oh, that hurt to the spine. Picking the spot. Ooh. From the top. 
Jackpot twice. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Slowly getting up, but she won't like what she's met with. Kick to the midsection. Full head of steam. Asuka is all gas and no brakes with that attack. is getting pushed beyond the normal limits. She returns the favor there. From behind. German suplex. Oscar retaliates. Now oh, trampling the opposition. has certainly picked up. How do these women have anything left? I have no idea, but there is no way you can expect them to keep going much longer. Locks in the gut wrench. All the way up and boom! Gut buster. Asuka might have just been rocked there, which is usually something she does to her opponent, not the other way around. These two trading one blow after another. Ooh. Neither competitor is backing down. She catches Valhalla with a counter. Nothing pretty here, just good old-fashioned fisticuffs. Both absolutely drained, but both refusing to give up. Oh, impressive counter. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. She flips it back. with a kick to the midsection, head of steam, sliding hip attack. Arm ringer, but uh oh there it is, the Oscar lock is in. The Oscar lock, uh oh, oh my goodness. What a match and we've got company. I'll let the mind games begin. We know there's no love lost. And even after the match, ready for a little more. Well, I think we need some help here to separate these two, or else they're going to tear each other apart. That's exactly what's going to happen. It is going to pop off. Here we go. Oh. Training blows back and forth. Oh, stage it finally. We've got some help. Officials desperately and unsuccessfully trying to separate these two. Oh, the cops. Keep these two apart.
is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, the team of Katana Chance and Kaden Carter. The longest reigning NXT Women's Tag Team Champions in history. You know, Carter and Chance were a team long before NXT even had a women's tag team division. And it's paid off because this team is the team to beat in all of WWE. An up and coming talent in the women's division. If you ask Indy Hartwell herself, Cole, she's not up and coming. Indy believes she is already main event worthy. Yeah. And their opponents, first from Melbourne, Australia, Indy Hartwell. Been successful her entire career from Australia to NXT, now ready to conquer WWE. You yeah, know, it gives Indy Hartwell that advantage is her incredible strength. She almost always has the size advantage inside the ring. Has already seen so much success in NXT and WWE. Yeah, but Cole, Indy Hartwell is only getting better. Mrs. Wrestling has returned. And from Riverside, California, Candice LeRae. One of the most decorated female superstars in the world. Surprising ability in such a small package. Candace is all smiles until the bell rings. Yeah, a big opportunity for Candace here. When it comes to two talents, you don't want to underestimate Caden Carter and Katana Chance have to be pretty high on that list within the women's division. According to Carter and Chance, there's no greater freedom than being underestimated. Because when you bring the party and have as much fun as they do, it's easy for opponents to assume they don't have the talent to back it up in the ring. But believe me, folks, they do. We're in for a treat tonight. And if you're a team that wants to learn how to work as one, this should be a match to study. Her shoulders are down. And there's the save. Let's keep fighting. Boom! Dropkick hits the mark. Got face first. Tops. Ooh, leg snap. And again in the other direction. Taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. One step ahead of Indy there. Oh, look at head scissor. Oh, and a head scissor. DDT. That could be it. She's starting to look concerned. Carter's tenacity worked in her favor. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. Carefully measured knee drop. Indy Hartwell is just begging for a fight. Super kick in the face. Oh, stomping away. She manages to get control. Oh, well scouted by Carter. Into the corner. This can't be good. Double super kick. It's got to be demoralizing when you're the combatant on the wrong side of the double team. Maybe you want to rework the game plan about now. Yes, tag. Face plant. And for the moment, LeRae gets knocked down a peg. You can tell Katana was zeroed in on her opponent. Point of the elbow, nailed it. Nice takedown with the leg sweep. Great counter. 
corner. Oh, saw it coming and got an elbow for their trouble. Man. Big kick right to the gut. A double knee face breaker. And she's in off the tag. Oh, good night. Sorry. Catches the kick. Connected on that. Oh, look at head scissor. Oh, and a head scissor DDT. That could be it. And she's stunned in the corner. Running drop oh. kick in the corner. Nowhere to go. And running Hearn Conrada. It takes a certain level of athleticism to pull that off. Oh, man. And momentum is slipping away from Indy. Yeah, Katana is really grinding the opposition down. And here's a cover. Pin stopped by rope break. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. Sometimes you just gotta show off and sh if this lands, it's over. And she doesn't connect. Shin breaker. Kidneys. Golly. Chicken wing into snake eyes. This is just establishing dominance, followed by the stuff. She could do it here. Kick out. She still has one. Obviously still has some fight left. Oh, oh, kick right to the spine. And back elbow creates separation. Spin kick to the midsection. Now drop toe hole, base first. Muscling up their opponent, Fireman's carry position. Into a light drop, nice. Will that clinch things for Carter? For the win! There's two! Kick out, thought that was the end of her. Her perseverance is unreal. Preserving her opportunity to keep this match alive. There's got to be some sense of desperation right now. She's used her best weapon, but the match still continues. Each competitor wants to prove that they are the toughest woman walking God's green earth. I cannot believe the punishment these superstars are inflicting on one another. Caught an elbow to the gut for that effort. These two showing how well scouted they each are. A sequence of reversals here. Both superstars clearly studied game tape ahead of time. Catches Hartwell. Drop kick. Whoa! Drop kick all the way to the outside. She's able to get out of the way. Close. That was 
inches away from three. Millimeters. Can't put this one away even after that big maneuver. Great job refocusing to reverse that. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. Into a hammerlock flatliner. Hoist their opponent out for a fireman's carry. Sent down into a leg drop. Very unique. Will that do it for Carter? Will that? Muscling up their opponent. Fireman's carry position. Sent down into a leg drop. Very unique. I think that finally closes the book. She was barely able to get that shoulder up. I cannot believe she had the wherewithal. Big maneuver, executed perfectly, but still was not enough. You can't take much more of this. Holding on by a thread, maybe even less at this point. And the energy in here is raising the hairs on the back of my neck. Trap the arm. And the neck breaker. Just look at Carter gain the momentum in this one. Tough spot for Indy. Hurricane Rana. She scores big with the counter. Katana perched up top. If this lands, it's over. Phoenix splash on the money. Amazing face breaker by Chance. Chance can seal it here. Is it enough? The cover. Two count. Well, Champ found a way to survive tonight. Simply put, what a Came win. Into this, wait a second. Wait just a minute. The Apparently. champ celebration cut short. Looks Time like to focus on time. a new challenge. Turn up the heat tonight. They're already feeling it. Already feeling the energy of the crowd. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. And is for the SmackDown Tag Team and the Raw Tag Team Championships. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 375 pounds. Santos Escobar and Rey Mysterio, the LWO! Paying homage to the original founding fathers of the LWO, this is a team that represents their Latino culture openly and proudly. They become a family of sorts, Michael. They win together, they lose together, but they always fight together. The Judgment Day is here. Everyone in their way is doomed. And introducing the champions at a combined weight of 439 pounds. They are the undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor and Damian Priest. The Judgment Day. The Judgment Day growing more dominant every single night, and their accolades grow with every match. Now, this is a group that's almost impossible to prepare for. The Judgment Day plans for every scenario, always having each other's back. Well, they create chaos. Judgment Day thrives in chaos.
One of these teams is going to have to work in unison from bell to bell if they want those tag team titles. Here we go with the Judgment Day in the ring. This group causes chaos and destruction wherever they go, all in the pursuit of amassing as much power as they can. Judgment Day is a legitimate threat to anyone in WWE. They have the numbers, the talent, and they will smash any superstar in their way. Yeah, Judgment Day won't rest until there's nobody left to oppose them, until they have completely taken over WWE. Repping the LWO on the other side of the ring, these guys are already in the zone. Ready to show up, ready to show out. Ready to show what they're all about. Nice. Overhead kick finds the mark. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, look at his aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. Compromised position here. Perfectly placed target. Satellite DDT. Here he comes off the tag. Set up for the side rush and leg sweep. Oh, look at this. Oh, kicks. Tapped off with a big one. Practically never ending blows coming at full force here. A great counter. Headed to the top now. Boom. <laughs> Sling blade by Finn Balor. Gets the tag. Boom. Running STO plants him. Nicely done. some damage. Damien looking to push the advantage after that. Loving blow. Ah, softening up the neck with that one. To the small on their back. In full control here. Face first. Sheaves. And now Escobar has damage to his face. Boom! Boom! What a right. Good golly, Miss Mike. damage as possible, looking to silence the challenger once and for all. Stops. The champion imposing their will with total disregard. Scooped up. Two stone slam. Damian Priest would like to be your guy. South of heaven. Can it be? Will the rain continue? Victim to an onrush now. Santos has to find an opening and respond. Oh man, just punishing. The challenger is in some big trouble. He can really stand to get back as good as he's getting right about now. Able to avoid any harm there. Please tie that one. deserves another look. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, here are your undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor and Damian Priest. The Judgment Day. A 
tough loss for the LWO here tonight. That was a great example of what a tag team can do when it's firing on all cylinders. Here comes G.G. Dolan, a truly confident and passionate competitor. The following is scheduled for one fall, making our way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, the WWE Women's Champion, G.G. Dolan. Dolan competed in some of the top independent promotions, earning some of the biggest women's titles outside of WWE and since then has held the NXT Women's Tag Team Championship on multiple occasions. Trained from a young age, she is hungry to show off what she can do. Looks at the whole women's division and says, bring it on. Blair Davenport, a young woman who won't let any competitor get in her way. And she does whatever she wants to do. A world traveled competitor looking to make her mark in WWE. And from Wellington, New Zealand, Blair Davenport. Always looking to make a statement of superiority and viciousness exerted her dominance as one of the top women in NXT UK and is now looking to take over all of WWE. sinister mind and amazing in-ring skills. Now, yeah, Michael, a truly merciless competitor who's out to hurt anyone who stands across from her. Well, if that's what it takes, then so be it. Gigi Dolan has really worked hard as of late to prove herself here in WWE, to prove that she can stand on her own and, most importantly, stand out. That's what being a WWE superstar is all about, and Dolan has the skills and the it factor to thrive in this environment. All she has to do now is win this match. And opposite her, oozing frightening intensity is Blair Davenport. This menacing superstar always climbs into the ring with nothing but bad intentions in mind. Seen by some as a scourge of the women's division, Blair Davenport is not afraid to cause her opponents lasting bodily harm. In fact, I go as far as to say she enjoys inflicting as much punishment as possible. Plenty of hits coming her way now. Oh, man. Some have called Gigi Dolan a master of mind games. Corey, will that benefit her tonight? Absolutely, Cole. If you can play mind games in this business, then you are at an instant advantage even before the bell rings. Gigi would... She can end it here. And she kicks out at two. She's still as determined as ever. Haymaker connects. An impressive chain of moves from Gigi. And Gigi Dolan has been playing mind games since this match started. And look how that's worked to her advantage. Suplex. Yeah. O'Connor Roll looking for the win. Look at the bridge, too. No, a kick out. Could be in search of a second win now. Kick to the abdomen. Fish 
vicious forearm right in the skull. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Face full of turnbuckle. Oh, man, nasty kick. She's taking a beating here. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Ooh, what? wasn't expecting that. Stinging kick. Oh, what an uppercut. Charm. Gigi Dole is just in her own world, posing for the crowd now. And that was a precisely measured attack. That took the breath right out of them. Caught all that weight right on the sternum. Super kick. Good night. Super kick. Blair can't seem to get out of harm's way. Blair needs to find a way to reverse her fortunes. High angle belly. Suplex. Dolan finding an opening. GG Dolan. What is she looking for? He tied up for the GG driver. Dolan landed that perfectly. Wait a minute, setting in. Devastating submission coming. Gigi Dolan with the Black Widow submission. I'm not sure there's anything she can do here. She is trapped and in danger. Byron, she can do this just like you've done your whole career. This champ has been a fighting champion. No doubt about that. And unfortunately for their potential challenger, their dreams just went up in smoke. Oh, wait a minute. What would you say about potential challenger? Look who's here. Standing face to face with the champion. And the champion reminding this superstar where the power lies. Take a look at an athlete who exists on a level unto himself. Seth Rollins is a fighter, a survivor, and he is on a quest for greatness. And the WWE Universe is singing his praises. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds. The World Heavyweight Champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins! A decade of being WWE's freaking workhorse, and the WWE Universe is finally singing his praises. Well, he's facing one of the most dominant competitors of the Attitude Era, The Rock. Any era for that matter, Cole. Surprisingly so, social media right now is buzzing. No, oh, because he represents millions and millions, literally. More than 415 million followers on social media. They smell it all right. Indeed, the great one. A third generation superstar who honors his family starting all the way at the top with the high chief. 
Peter Maivia. Without a doubt, furthering his family's legacy in sports entertainment and cementing his own spot on the WWE Mount Rushmore. His greatness transcends eras in WWE history. Powered up in the iron paradise, Team Bring It is a lifestyle. And here we go, when it comes to The Rock, everything is about owning his opponent. That includes owning them on the microphone and the ring. The Great One sets a tone like no one else and brings that butt whooping power to anyone who gets in his face. Yeah, it doesn't take much to get the Brahma Bowl going. And then we've got Seth freaking Rollins. As far as Seth is concerned, there isn't a superstar in the locker room who can truly hang with him in the ring. Call him conceited, call him boastful, but that's just how Seth sees it. I'd encourage people to call him one of the greatest of all time. Every ounce of swagger and self-confidence that Rollins brings with him to the ring has been earned over a lengthy and hugely successful career. When you've got the resume Seth Rollins has, you can run your mouth however you want. As annoying as he can be, it's very tough to overstate Seth Rollins' in-ring skill level. He thinks he has it. Gets the shoulder up. That was a long two count there. And The Rock is being handled here. And Rollins is on a roll, gentlemen. Oof, kick finds it. Oh, man. He didn't need that eyebrow anyway. And he scores a reversal on Rollins. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. No nice. belly. Seth retaliates. Slide blade. Nicely done. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh man, that was nasty. They weren't that good looking anyway. Oh man. He didn't need that eyebrow anyway. He's in a little bit of trouble now. Typical crafty offense from Rollins as this match goes on. Oh, throw to the back. And Seth just taunting his opponent now. He's got the answer for that one. Driving into the cover. of neck and he'll leave the ring for this next stretch he skirts around it Whoa. able to reverse into the barricade oh Seth gets caught with a counter oh setting him up for the oh a shit breaker gonna be hard to walk after that And gets tossed back into the mat. Uh oh. In the counter from Rollins. Well scouted by the great one. Stopped him in their tracks with a kick to the gut. Able to parry that one. <laughs> Never saw it coming. Super kick. Rollins is feeding off the WWE Universe. We're gonna end this emphatically. What a pedigree. A predictably superb attack from Seth freaking Rollins. Placing them into the corner. Got him right in the jaw. Oh, what a shot. He's returning fire. Uh, ducked underneath. German suplex turns the ties. Oh, the arm taking the brunt of that. Oh, man. 
He didn't need that eyebrow anyway. Inverted DDT. A frenzy of attacks from Seth Rollins. The Rock's got to find a way to defend himself. Rock plants him with a spine buster. And no one does it like The Rock. Stick. You can feel the energy from the millions and millions all around the world. For yeah. There it is, the people's elbow. The Rock has this wrapped up. Two. And they're still in this. Seth freaking Rollins with a close freaking call. I don't know how he survived that. Guys, even The Rock can't believe it. He thought that was that. Now the... Oh, maybe time to start is starting to roll. Getting carried around. Bad spot to be in. Oh, man, taking it to the trachea. These competitors have been going deep into their arsenal all match, but have not found a way to end it all. Swings in momentum. Every push has been cut off. Seth is being overwhelmed. He's been annoyingly persistent, and now we're seeing a hell of a lot less confident. Oh, Rollins in complete control. A defensive elbow to the gut ends that. Uses an elbow to disrupt that attack. Oh, and Rollins! Here comes Seth! Sling blade! Rollins in complete control. Counters that. And Rollins finally able to keep that string of offense in check. Brief sign of adrenaline from Rollins. Ooh, and there's the cover. Forces the shoulder up after two. How? How? Wrenching the arm. DDT. And Seth is reeling after absorbing that attack. We know Seth has a big gas tank, but he needs to dig into the reserves now. Oh, kick right in the back. The Rock with some good timing here. Uh, oh, twist in the arm. This cuts into the elbow. And he stonewalls The Rock. Now, in complete control. Big reversal by Rollins. Big forearm. Put it in position now. Are you kidding me? Seth Rollins' chances are whittling down. This can't be how Rollins envisioned his night going. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh, I hope they back up. Double leg step through. Uh-oh. You know what's coming next? Legendary Scorpion Deathlock. Look at the torque. This won't win the match, but it's doing a lot of damage in the process. And the tap out isn't going to do anything. This is just torturous now. And he tosses it back in now. The Rock reminding us all once again that we are watching the most electrifying man in sports entertainment at work. Uh-oh. About to go. That's going to keep Rollins down. I can't believe what we're seeing. Corey, we're going to see it. The most electrifying move in all of sports entertainment. The people's elbow. Picture perfect from The Rock. Two. Oh, he kicked out. Amazing resilience on display from Seth Rollins. How did Rollins kick out? Rock might need to dial up a little more electricity than usual if that wasn't enough. There are no words 
for the ride these fans have gone through in this match. It has been a roller coaster, and I don't think the ups and downs are over yet. Rollins with a head of steam. Big air. The stomp. Can that finish The Rock? Uh-oh. Let's go. We're going to see it. Right to the back of the net. We've seen this win matches for Rollins. And to borrow an old catchphrase, The Rock says, not yet. Rollins is starting. Oh, it may be time to start burning it down. Rollins is starting to roll. Kick to the gut creates separation. for every move. Rollins looking to end it. Curve stop. Rollins just turned the lights out. Cover. Now the champion winning the match here tonight begins the celebration. A hard fought victory. Uh oh, look out. Oh, look who's here. Oh, from behind. Never saw it coming. And now your ex hall oh, got the title. Got the title. Again. Oh, man. Just tattooing the champion. I guess statement made. Despicable. to say about Shh. it's Chelsea the following is scheduled for one fall making her way to the ring from Victoria British Columbia Canada Chelsea Green Chelsea Green won many major titles from independent promotions but now is one of the top names in WWE uh, and Michael, she's pretty much annoyed every general manager she's ever encountered along the way, too. Maybe after Chelsea gets the win tonight, the general manager will finally recognize her talents. The consummate underdog of the women's division, Zelina Vega. And representing the LWO from Queens, New York, Zelina Vega. Zelina has seen a tremendous amount of success lately. She won the Queen's crown and reformed the LWO. And Zelina's not showing any signs of slowing down. Selena was no stranger to success before, but now she seems destined for the top. You know, Zelina Vega has really come into her own as of late as she's embraced her heritage and her culture as part of her identity as a WWE superstar. And the WWE Universe has really embraced her in kind. Zelina is fighting with a purpose, and the WWE Universe sees that as something they can latch on to. As crafty and as scrappy as she's always been in the ring, things have really all come together for Zelina lately. And that's why tonight could easily be her night. But she's facing off against someone who will go straight to the manager if she doesn't get her way in this one, Chelsea Green. Look, there is nothing wrong with making the system work for you, Saxton. And Chelsea just so happens to be a master of that. Win or lose, Chelsea Green knows how to get what she wants. Ooh. 
Set up in the corner of the ring. Counters with an attack on Zelina. And that failed to hit the mark. Boom! Oh, what an elbow! Oh my goodness! Ah, oh, what a smash! That is just insulting. Corey, we know that Zelina isn't afraid to get her hands dirty when she's in the ring. She'll do anything it takes to get the victory and maintain her status. So what do you think is the best strategy for her competition? Other than begging her for mercy? In all seriousness, though, Zelina usually has a size or strength disadvantage coming into a match. So decide which advantage you want to utilize and stick to the plan. All measured up. Drop kick to the back. Never saw it coming. Elbow drop! Kick to the gut. Set up. Flipping pile driver spiked. That ego of Chelsea's has to be growing after that attack. And that failed to hit the mark. Up and down. What a slam. She's losing some steam now. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes themselves to. Oh, jaw shattering. Just using their foot as a weapon. So ruthless. Places her right in the corner. She's pumping herself up, reaching out for that burst of energy. Uh-oh, second rope. Oh, she misses the mark. Brilliant countering by both competitors. Kick to the midsection. Sunset flip. Now into a power bomb. Exclamation delivered by Zelina. Whoa! Oh, no! Crashing hard onto the floor. A huge miss. There's bad timing, and then there's whatever you want to call that. This fight is going down right in front of our faces. More up close and personal than I'd like to be. Toss back into the ring.
And now she delivers her back into the ring. Chelsea Green sizing her up from the top. At this point, this is incredibly ill-advised. From the top rope, missile drop kick on point. You can feel the tables beginning to... Right idea to fight back, but she comes up short. And she had Zelina's number there. Super kick! Walk with the arms from the home. There's the eye prettier by Chelsea Green. Zelina is in big, big trouble. Chelsea Green looking to remind everyone I'm prettier. Did Chelsea get enough of it? That's gotta be it. We've got some time to take another look at some of the highlights from that one. Here is your winner, Chelsea Green! Selena Vega leaving in defeat. Chelsea Green knew she had this one in the bag, and now she can say, I told you so. Already so many accolades for this woman, Bianca Belair. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair. Before dominating here in WWE, she was a decorated collegiate athlete. Yeah, but let's talk about some of that dominance here in WWE, Michael. Bianca Belair, a former Royal Rumble winner, a multi-time women's champion as well. It's starting to look like there truly aren't any limits that Bianca Belair can't reach. Listen to this ovation. The WWE Universe loves cheering on the EST. Well, oh, come on. Her energy is just infectious. I see Graves even dancing over there. Uh, I'm not sure I call that dancing. Guys, it is time for a Tiffany epiphany. Tiffany Stratton, ready to dominate the competition. Minnesota, Tiffany Stratton. Stratton has an amazing gymnastics background. She even competed on the U.S. national team. She sprang her way into WWE after that and has never looked back. We've learned very quickly that it's always tippy time in WWE. Starting things off with Tiffany Stratton, a woman who truly enjoys the finer things in life. Tiffany Stratton demands the best, but I'll tell you what, privilege can't buy you cleverness and it can't buy you talent. From where I'm sitting, she has both in spades, not to mention a very healthy dose of ambition. We've seen that combination take superstars far before. Maybe it'll do the same for her. And that brings us to Bianca Belair, the EST of WWE. She says she's the strong est, the fastest, the toughest superstar in this industry today. And you know what, guys? 
a believer. It's hard to argue otherwise when you look at everything Bianca's accomplished in her career. If you want to have any hope of taking on the EST inside the ring, you have to be at your absolute best. Ooh, she hit the corner hard. She saw that coming from Tiffany. Forearm to the oh, face. Oh, nothing fancy about that. It looks like Stratton didn't quite expect that. Yeah, Belair is proving herself to everyone now. What's the best strategy in a match against a superstar like Bianca Belair, who possesses incredible athletic ability and raw strength? Well, chances are you can't overpower Bianca, so you have to focus on trying to outsmart her. You have to pick your spots carefully and see if you can lure her into leaving herself open to an attack. Big form. Ooh, ooh, rocking the jaw. Pulling him in for the backbreaker. Ouch. Can she do it here? She overcomes the pinfall attempt. Close call, but not enough yet. Shoulder tackle. And now Bianca's playing to the crowd. The EST looking to And had something going but can't finish the job. She's lost some of that energy she had earlier. Yeah, Beller's clearly working hard to soften her up. Cover! Shoulders are down! She was close to the end there. No celebrations yet. Yeah. <laughs> Left by the turnbuckles. Oh, God. Kick to the gut. I am the counter. Chicken wing into snake eyes. The end is looming now. Yeah, things are not looking up for her right now. Right. A second one. Completely destroying their core with those impacts. Go for the ride. The follow-away slam. Blocked it. The knees up could provide a huge turnaround. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Impressive reversal there. Oh, Tiffany avoids contact. Both competitors showing how well they know one another. Tough position to be caught in here. Here's the cover for the win. Covers. Cover. And she fights it off. A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. Stratton turns it around. Fireman's carry position across the shoulders. A rolling fireman. And here comes the cover. Is it enough to... Well, hey, 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 hey. Feet on the ropes. Shoulder up. Shoulder up. She just will not go away. Oh, my goodness. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Something's about to go either very wrong or very right. From the top. Elbow drop. Shoulder up. I didn't think we'd see a kick out there. Carefully measured knee. Kick to the stomach. And she's seen that sequence before. She knew exactly what was coming. And she dodged that one nicely. Elbow throw saying not today. Ooh. Oh, what a close line. 
Uh oh! Oh, God! Paying the price of treating your own body like a human crash test dummy. And now thrown back into the ring. Line. Forcefully delivered. Ooh. Oh, the fall that hurts. It's a sudden stop at the end. Now we have to see how tough Tiffany truly can be. Up high! Cross body from the top! Uh oh! Arm drag reversal. Tiffany's pushing back now. Stratton was being tested, was finally able to get some offense of her own in. Oh, reversal catches Tiffany. Elbow thrown to break up the maneuver. Forks the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. One reversal after another. These two are reading each other's minds. Can there be frustration mounting in these competitors, knowing it's going to take more to win this one? You can't let those feelings seep into your psyche. You have to keep your focus. Listen to this crowd. What a feeling. And these superstars are feeling it too. Muscling up her opponent. You know what's next. Oh, the county. Will that stop Stratton? Big plans in mind for the EST. From the top. Big mistake there, Corey. Oh, she knows that now. And that was a well-executed attack. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Hunter seen the targeted area of the arm with the assist of the rope. Crafty way to get out of Hawk. The EST looking to secure the win. And the county! Did Bel Air just close this out? Sure. Just when you think it's the end, she stays alive. What amazing resilience. Is this the start of a comeback? And Belair 100% thought she had it there, guys. I think we all did. Where is she finding the strength? This is unreal. Look at this crowd. It's insanity in here. Bedlam. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Driven down face first. She just turned it around. Here we go, Byron. Samoan drop. Great reaction from Belair. Placing them right where they want them into the corner. <laughs> what a forearm. Bianca does not fear anybody. Bianca Belair and the KOD. That one has to end this. Cover. There it is. Bianca Belair picks up the win. These ladies put on quite a show. Here's another gander. This was quite a loss for Tiffany Stratton. This win might have been a statement. The EST staking her claim and marking her territory.
the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes looking to continue his dominance in WWE. Competing at his highest level, striving for the main event and the biggest prize. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. The Rhodes name means he was born with this business in his blood. He's finally been able to tap into that, and we are now witnessing his full capabilities. Indeed, Corey, the American Nightmare has become a reality. For everything Rhodes has accomplished during his tenures in WWE, he's made his mark across the wrestling world. Every promotion he stepped foot in has been transformed for the better, thanks to the American Nightmare. But we all know he's got the best work ahead of him here in WWE. And his opponent from Washington, D.C., weighing in at 290 pounds, the animal Batista. Don't judge a book by its cover. He has an extremely high in-ring IQ on top of being an absolute powerhouse. Understandable as a man who sat beneath the learning tree of legends like Rey Mysterio and Triple H. Six foot six, 295 pounds, all animal. We've seen that when the beast is unleashed, nobody can stop Batista. Championships, main events, Batista will take them by force. And gentlemen, tonight the animal is on the hunt for even more. Kicking things off with Cody Rhodes. It's been a long, strange road home for the American Nightmare, but Cody Rhodes has made it clear that he's not about the past anymore. He's back in WWE to cement his legacy and finish the task he started. It's all or nothing time for the grandson of a plumber. All or nothing indeed as Rhodes looks to take a big step here tonight. And we know Batista is powerful, but can that power last for the duration of the match? Batista is an insane specimen, Saxton. An altered beast who is as ferocious as ever. I would never bet against the animal's capabilities. Uh-oh. Wards off that offense from Cody. Great reversal. Backs. Uh-oh. How did scouted? Implanted by the DDT. Side Russian leg sweep. The American Nightmare feeling that adrenaline in his soul. Oh! Gotta find a way to get out of this. Oh my God. Can he do it here? He kicks out with authority. 
I suppose you have to take the shot, but it's still too early to wrap up this one just yet. Oh, face stop! Batista is just playing with his food right now. And Rhodes able to reverse that. When you think of Cody Rhodes, you think of a lot of intangibles, natural ability, heart, the kinds of things you can't measure that will carry him through a match. All that and one more, Cole, knowledge. He truly has been through it all, but in my mind, it's his experience that will end up putting the biggest gap between the American Nightmare and his opponent. And he denies Cody. Spear, incredible! What a pulverizing move from Batista. The animal has mastered the ability to render an opponent motionless. Out of the way in time. Beautiful hip toss. And set right into the corner. Oh, uncorked a big punch. Gentlemen, this is what I believe we refer to as unloading. Oh, man, he is fired up now. Look at this. What a crossbody. No sign of hesitation. And that risk gained big rewards. Oh, look out. Oh, my. Apron sent on. And that might have tamed the animal there. At this stage of the match, they are clearly starting to feel the effects of this back and forth. The springboard attack fails to land. Spinning side slam. The animal looking for it. Here it comes. The Batista bomb. Cody's eyes look glazed over. Cover. Oh, and he just kicked out. The never-ending fight in Cody Rhodes. Absolutely undeniable right now. Kicking out of that is only going to piss off Batista even more, and that's not something I'd recommend. Denied with an elbow. Bulldog. Hits him with the counter. He foiled that attempt. Side rushing leg sweep. Looking for the victory. He gets the kick out after the one. He's still got life in this matchup. Shutting that down with the back elbow. Boom! Running STO plants him. Nicely done. Had that one scouted. Oh, caught him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No way. No way. A pedigree. And you could consider that a point made by Cody Rhodes. Caught that one with his face, and Batista's bleeding. At this juncture, you have to wonder if these superstars can keep up this pace. They're certainly being taken into the deep water. Rhodes looking to finish it here. Cross Rhodes connects, but he's not done yet, Byron. Cody wants to put an exclamation point on this matchup. Cody, yes. that's one hell of an exclamation mark. He's heading up top, thinking big from the top. Good lord, taking flight. And that was a collision you don't want to be on the receiving end of. Came down like a wrecking ball on a cinder block. Whip back into the ring. And up the turnbuckles. Flying. Oh, oh. Drop into the cover. Oh. Guys, can you believe how great that match was? But hold on a second. They'll happen in the lights. Oh, 